Hello everyone, this is Rollback here from Programming Tips and Tutorials and uh, today um, I'm gonna make a tutorial on how um, to limit a text box um, to only be uh, introduced numbers, not characters. Uh, this means this text box will only admit uh, number inputs. Uh, for the tutorial I'm gonna use um, Visual Basic language here in Visual Studio and uh, create a new project. Um, I'm gonna call it numbers only for instance I'm gonna be a Windows form application. I press OK. So in our Windows form just be quick it's just uh, only numbers Okay, let's add a text box and let's add a button. I'm going to use this button later. So, button. Okay, and this is our text box. So, uh, what we're gonna do to prevent user from pressing characters and allow him to only press numbers is to use the key press event from the text box and check uh, any any time that the user presses a key if that key is a number we accept if that key is not a number we reject so to do that we're gonna select text box here in the text box options we got two events we're gonna search for key press key press uh, and we're gonna click two, two times and it creates the key press event uh, code so inside this code we're gonna uh, check uh, what key was pressed so we're gonna say if we're gonna we need to, co to convert this to ASCII ask code uh, e dot key char um, uh, I'm gonna uh, just put the code and I, I will ex explain it uh, later to you uh, but w we are using the ASCII code uh, of the keys uh, and the key numbers from 0 to 9 um, in ASCII are uh, between the um, 48 and the 50, 57 uh, so we're gonna j uh, find if user press the key uh, a key number if the ASCII code of that key is in between this, this range but I, I Later I put a message box displaying the key number every time you press a key and we will notice uh, why I do this. So we gotta cast to ASCII the key char. So we can use these values. So if it is in between this range uh, it's a number uh, so um, um, so uh, if it is in between this range uh, it's a key and we're gonna say e handled equals to false because when we handle uh, an event equals to true it doesn't happen uh, um, if we ha we handle this event equals to false we let that happen um, as normal so we're gonna do else I if it's not in that range uh, so it's not a key number so we're gonna handle equal to true so it's not gonna happen as it should it means the user will press the key but the key will not ap appear in the text box so f for now let's just test this so 
I have my text box here. I'm gonna press a number. Okay, they are appearing. Uh, uh, what I can do is um, I press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So all the numbers are there. If I I press keys, they are not getting there. You c you cannot see me pressing keys, but you gotta trust me. They are not appearing there. Uh, one the problem is when we press backspace to delete the numbers. This is not doing anything because it's not a number. We are not letting this a action happen. So we need to add the ASCII number for the backspace because we want the backspace to use. Otherwise, you cannot delete numbers that you press uh, without wanting. So the ASCII number for the backspace uh, is eight. So we're gonna add an R. We're gonna do the cast a dot keychar equals to 8 so we we'll let uh, the action happen if it's a number or if it's the backspace so now I can press numbers and I can delete the numbers and press numbers again still cannot press any other character so um, f for now it's pretty much done I I'm gonna show you what I said in the beginning I'm gonna put the message box and inside the message box I'm gonna put the key char and you're gonna see that um, when I press uh, letter A the ASCII code is 97 but it don't, don't appear on the text box because it's not a number when I press 1 it's 49 when I press 0 is 48, when I press 9 is 57 so it's the range that I put here, when I press backspace it's the 8 and we'll call in the number 9 so it's every everything here uh, for instance if you want to instead of having when you finish putting your number if, instead of having to click OK you can just click enter you can add this uh, here in the function is the 13 in ASCII code so let's handle it uh, right now so you can see else okay. Okay, it's missing the code else if uh, let's copy this here to be faster 13 then um, we can do some stuff and this stuff can be for instance message box show uh, text box one dot text uh, and we can even add here the same stuff on our button click so if we run this we can press Okay, uh, we gotta disable that mm, stupid message box that we left here to comment just that. Uh, okay, one five. If we press the button, it says and it says the number that you pressed. If you just press one more and click enter, it will say the number that you pressed. The same thing as if you click on OK button. So let me check how many time. Oh, okay, it's almost done. So for now, is this? Uh, if so, basically what I said here is how to make sure that your text box it's only for numbers, not for characters. So as you can see, it's pretty simple, and I hope it's uh, it has been helpful. So, see you next time.